Question number seven is about dilations to graph linear functions. This is very simple because uh, it's under the part one. You can directly find the graphs easily. I'll tell you the shortcut and also the actual method as well. This is the question. We have to describe the dilation of this function to this given particular function. Now what the graph is given is the parent function graph. Over here you can see this is a direct linear line y equals x. See f of x the function is equal to y that's the y coordinate. This is equal to x. If you remember the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b the same one is used just that what is the y intercept here? It's 0 so b is 0 y is equal to 1x okay because the slope is 1 y for 1 x coordinate 1 y coordinate like that how do you do that i hope you remember see whatever is the slope dy by dx you must write this number up and what is the number below there is nothing so it is one only one by one is one isn't it so this is one way now the given question here is y equals 5x so dy by dx will be the upper one phi by 1 that is equal to phi isn't it this is the easy way to understand this now what is y y is the y axis you can see there are five units now each unit is one two three four each block is two units phi this is the part that is at one can you see phi and one okay this will be the new graph this will be the second point and you have to draw a graph something like this okay it'll go there now uh, sorry that will be that is not accurate we will we have to do at least two points now what will be the next point again one two three four five and one it will be over here so you have to draw a line which passes these points okay something like this this will be something like that that will be our answer directly from the slope even this point is enough just that if you have a scale you can draw it properly let's see the answer one minute you can see that is the answer we have drawn roughly but that's the accurate answer accurate answer now if you're going through the actual method you have to just do table x values assume x values f of x means substitute the x values over here and solve phi f of x so over here you have to just substitute phi into minus 2 that is minus 10 phi into 0 is 0 phi into 2 is 10 and plot the points and graph it but that is such a uh, onerous task you know it will take a long time so what you can do is easily look at this dilation or dilation phi that means for one unit of x it will be five units of y or you can take a multiple of that instead of uh, one unit of phi I know for x1, y will be 5. If it's 2, it will be 10. If it's 3, it will be 15. Now see over here. If I take 1, 2, it will be 10 over here. This is 10, point 10. That's it. So this is the thing. But easy way is, this is 1. x will be 1, y will be 5. That's the point. That's how we do it. We will see one more problem. You will understand better. Now here it's 1 by 3. So most important thing is, whatever you see over here, slope 1 by 3, that is dy by dx. Here now, for three units of x, denominator is x, numerator is y. For three units of x, now what, what happens? This is 1, 2, 3. So three units of x, what is the y? Only 1. So this will be the point. So graph will be passing like this somehow. You can, we will directly see the answer now. See, that is the thing. You can easily tell it. Now I will remove this and you can see 1, 2, 3 somewhere over here and 1. If you again 1, 2, 3, it will be 2 and so on. So no need of all the other things directly dilated and you will get the answers. Same thing here. It is 1.5. Now if you put 1.5 in the calculator, you will directly get 3 by 2. So here dy is 3, dx is 2. So 1. 2 for x. See, the down one is the x value. 2x, 1, 2, 3. Somewhere over here will be the next point. So the graph has to be something. Sorry. If you have a scale, you can accurately get it, but it will be something like that. That line will be 
somewhere something like that you can see the answer it's very close you know mine is not accurate but you can see it's very very close enough to the answer so that's it that's how we can easily solve them and 3x now 3 will be for one unit of x one two three units of y somewhere over here the point will be there you can see that's the point where i kept the cursor one one two three why because 3 has no denominator see 3 by 1 so dy by dx or you just understand y axis by x axis is the slope okay now the slope is 3 that is the numerator by 1 and now then what else oh yeah it's 3 by 4 that means y x axis is 4 y axis is 3 so somewhere over here the point will be there see only the thing is over here x value will be 4 so here it's 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 this will be a point in the answer very close to it otherwise so you can see that's a point okay it may not be accurate because i'm just doing it uh, you know directly but if you take the exact measurements you will get the accurate graph but you don't need to do accurate you can easily figure out which is the correct graph there will be only one graph with the correct point so it's very very easy just plot one point and eliminate all the other three graphs because 3 by 4 so this will be the point only one correct graph will have this point no other graph can have this okay that's how we do it um, 0 0.4 what is 0 0.4 if you put this in calculator you will get 4 by 10 so dy dx you can simplify this you, uh, I mean, sorry, you won't get 4 by 10 in the calculator. Sorry, you will get 2 by 5 in the calculator. Okay. 0 0.4 is 4 by 10 because you can just take the decimal to the other side. You'll get 4 by 10. But if you put 0 0.4 in calculator, you will get 2 by 5 automatically. So 2 by 5, that means for 5 units of X, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over here. It's two units of y, it will be over here. So this will be the point, something like this, the graph. You will just check answer. See, it's somewhere over there. Not accurate, but very close enough. So for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will be 1, 2. That's it. And then we can see another graph. Now it's negative 4. That means it goes downwards. Now let, let us do this. dy by dx equals what negative 4 by 1 because it's only negative 4 right now here y moves downwards 1 2 3 4 y is minus 4 x is 1 this one so this will be the point the graph will be something like this that's again very bad now here the graph will be joining something like this okay it will be going towards downwards like that you can see the answer it's somewhere over there so that's the answer why because there's minus so y value over here will be downwards that's it and uh, here minus 8 so again minus 8 by 1 it will be minus 8 and 1 see this will be a point over here let me just point it out over here somewhere over here that will be the point why because minus 8 and x is 1 Minus 8 means downwards. See, that's the point. Very, very simple and straightforward. So please do solve these problems by yourself. And the last one over here, minus 2. What I do is always take the minus to the y. Minus 2 by 3. That is dy by dx. Now, minus 2 is over here. And x value is 3, 1, 2, 3 over here. So this will be the point. So the graph will go something like this. And you can check the graph that's the answer you don't need to do the plotting plotting will take a lot of time so directly do this and you can easily get the answer it will be the correct answer itself so that's basically it for this topic just make sure if it's negative take it downwards if it's positive it will just be upward and right and if it's a uh, minus sign give the y-axis minus whichever is easy for you and always remember the formula dy by dx and you can solve these problems easily.